Inside this war room, a team of Facebook analysts monitor elections around the world. They're looking for fake accounts, suspicious patterns, any sign of election tampering. The company, Mark Zuckerberg tells me, is trying to avoid a repeat of the 2016 U.S. presidential election. In the last year, um, we've disrupted uh, more than 50 different campaigns from different nation states um, trying to interfere in elections. Later today, Facebook will unveil several new election integrity measures built around transparency, including labeling media outlets that are state controlled. I think it's really important that people can see for themselves um, when media is actually operating as an organ of the government and is being editorially controlled there. The move to call out foreign actors comes as Facebook is embroiled in controversy over political ads at home, criticized for refusing to pull a Donald Trump ad that contained false claims about Joe Biden. Zuckerberg saying it's not their role to fact check candidate claims. Do you feel like you're giving a green light to politicians that no, look, lie, lie, lie? I, I, I believe that, um, that it is important for people to be able to hear and see uh, what politicians are saying. I think that when they do that, um, that speech will be heavily scrutinized by other journalists, by other people. Last week in a speech, the Facebook founder also doubled down on his belief that the platform should be centered on free expression, contrasting it with social media censorship in China. I don't think it's right for a private company to censor politicians or the news in a democracy. Criticized by some as a false choice, but criticism is something Mark Zuckerberg has gotten used to. I get that a lot of people are angry at us. Part of growing up for me has just been realizing that it is more important to be understood than it is to be liked. And, and I believe it very strongly. And I, I do think that people can, can make up their own minds about, uh, about me or, or the work that we're doing, but, uh, but this is who I am. And Mark Zuckerberg's confidence in this next election, he says, is due to their changed approach from being reactive to now more proactive. He also credited his confidence in the more than 35,000 people he says are working on security and a budget greater than the whole revenue of the company when it went public. We'll send it back to you guys now. All right. Lester, Lester. thank you. You can see more of Lester's interview with Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg tonight on NBC Nightly News.